Hey everybody, happy Testimony Tuesday. I'm Nichelle with 2XL with Nichelle.com. I am stopping in for a little inspiration today. I am your life transition and business strategist. I teach you how to start, market, and grow into the CEO of you. I do that by providing inspiration, motivation, and information to bring you out of your comfort zone so that you can open up your gifts and share them with the world. If you are not connected with me, touch that little Perry dude down there and connect with me if you like that inspiration motivation and information to help take you to that next level i'm stopping in for a little lunch break push here today welcome everyone hey richly connected i love that welcome stopping in for a little lunch break push as you saw in my title doubt doubt oh my god doubt has roots and so many times so often we plant doubt into a situation before we give it life and i want to share with you today just like you feed faith you feed doubt too and the more people that you allow in your life to feed that doubt the more doubtful you become and so if you want your doubt to grow in your life if you want your faith to grow in your life watch out what you water make certain that you understand that watering the wrong things can produce fruit in your life yes doubt is fruit too why because some people live in doubt some people thrive in doubt but if you are a child of God if you heard me I said but okay if you are a child of God you know that greater is he that is in you than he that is in this world and so when you begin to eat that doubt when you begin to feed yourself that doubt thank you so much for sharing i greatly appreciate you can't see your name down there but i thank you for sharing when you begin to feed that doubt when you begin to live in that doubt what you find out is that things become doubtful to you nothing happens good for you your progression stops everything that you want tends to cease but when you start planting life when you start breeding those roots from faith that we've so been taught throughout our whole lives but we don't be a testimony of it you got to be a testimony of what you speak. And I bring this message to you because somebody just told me, I doubt if that will happen. And I said, really? Okay, because see, I don't live in doubt. I live in faith. And I know that if I ask, I shall receive. See, a closed mouth is never fed and you will never get fed in anything that you want in life if you don't ask. And so when she said that, it struck me by storm because I'm like, okay, so you believe you doubt that would happen? I said, why don't you ask? You an international relations student. Do you think it is a good specialty? <laughs> that's not what this broadcast is about, but international relations is a wonderful specialty if that's what you choose to do. So back to my point, when you live in doubt, you breed doubt, you feed doubt, it becomes a seed in your life. And so when she told that to me, I said, you know what? Go ask again, go ask again. She said, I I'm telling you, I doubt if that would happen. You know, I'm second in command and management and I don't think that's going to happen. I said, you know what? I'm not going on what you think is going to happen. I'm going on what I know that God has done done for me in my life all I had to do was ask and he made it happen okay so go ask again <laughs> what's the problem with asking again so she went to go ask again and lord and behold I got my request okay so my point is to you today if doubt is in your life I doubt everything happens in my life <laughs> you doubt everything happens in your life well you need to stop doubting you didn't hear the beginning of my message start feeding yourself with the faith that you live with that you come with okay so when you keep living in that doubt that's all you're gonna get nothing will happen for you you got to be a believer you got to know that all things are possible number one if you believe in the most high number two if you ask for it and number three you got to have faith in yourself and that you're capable of what you're asking for and that you deserve Deserve what you're asking for see a lot of times we don't get what we want because we don't deserve it we don't deserve it it's not our time yet we want to rush things to happening do you believe in fade or everyone does everything herself I don't know what you're saying in regards to that but bottom line if you don't ask you won't receive sometimes you don't deserve the things that you ask for because you have not put yourself in a position to receive them if you want what you ask for you have to put yourself in that position and be ready to receive it I speak on that all the time you got to be ready to receive it if you're not ready to receive it it's not going to come to you at that particular time don't understand that language if I don't understand your language then I cannot communicate with you so my point being Faith without action is dead. 
faith without talking about it, living in it, and being of that faith will never happen. If you believe in doubt, doubt will consistently ride upon your life, over your head. See, I got friends and family in Houston right now, and I see all the hardship that they're going through right now, and my word, my seed of encouragement is that right now it seems gloomy, because it is. When you are surrounded by water and you can't swim, that's a scary thing in the position to be in. However, if you know greater is he that is in you than he that is in this world, you will move beyond the current circumstances. Okay? You will move beyond the current circumstances. Sir, ma'am, you need to listen to my message. Okay? Because evidently it's not resonating with you. Thank you so much. Amen. We have to know to whom much is given, much is required. You just can't talk about it. You got to be about it. You have to stand firm in your faith and remove the roots from that doubt. That doubt does not deserve to have a place in your life unless you bring it there. Okay. And so many of us bring doubt into our lives because that's all we know. That's all we see. It's been a generational curse. And so in order to get rid of that generational curse, you got to start doing, you got to start believing and acting upon the faith that you say you have. Christian people really distort me with that because I'm like, really? You know, we've been taught about faith, but we don't live that faith because we're so doubtful. God's people should not be doubtful. All right. And so back to my point, as I said, Doubt has roots, just like faith. You can feed both of them. You can water both of them and they will mature how much life you bring into them. Okay. We can't get anything without breathing life into it. And so when you breathe life into negativity, when you breathe life into doubt, that's what you're going to get. It's going to start to take surface in your life. It's going to become a dominant force in your life. And you won't know anything but doubt. So start living in life. Start taking the roots of positivity and adding it in your life. Start taking positivity and speaking it every day. Believe that what you want, you deserve, especially if you've done the work to receive it. If you ain't done the work to receive it, then you don't deserve it, okay? All right? Yes. Amen. <laughs> I'm Michelle with 2XL with Michelle.com. I bring you information, inspiration, and motivation to help push you out of your comfort zone so that you can unwrap those gifts that God has blessed you with. Yes, we all have gifts. Your gifts, my gifts are totally different, but we all have gifts that we can share with the world. Stop being silent. Stop being silent. Sometimes believing is not enough to be successful. I don't, I disagree with that. I disagree with that. And why? Because if you're not doing what you need to do to be successful, you're not going to be successful. Faith without action is dead. Belief without action is dead. And so if you're doing, not doing what it takes to be successful, how can you expect God to grant you that grace and that mercy to be successful? See, too many lazy people sitting on their tails wanting things to come to them and you're not doing what you're supposed to do, what you're required to do to receive them. You can't get a college degree if you don't go sit in the classroom and do the work. It ain't going to be real if you do it and it's fake, okay? You can't have a baby if you don't do what it takes to get a baby, all right? Many times I have believed with all my heart and results has become a catastrophe. You need to change your circle. You need to change your surroundings because the people that you're around are bringing you catastrophe. They're bringing you doubt in your life. You need to hang around with people that are breeding great seeds into your life, that are speaking great information into your life because see as I mentioned all those catastrophes that come around is because who you are surrounding yourself with I promise you that's it when you remove yourself from catastrophic situations you will remove yourself from things not happen to you in that way yes hey Fred how you doing and so please believe that to be true. I, I literally doubt that everything, you're welcome. I literally doubt that if you stay there, if you stay there, those things are going to keep happening. But if you see that, why subject yourself to that? If you know people are not good for you, then don't be around things that are not good for you. Just because it's good to you don't mean it's good for you. We have to understand that. You know, we want to eat all this pork and all that stuff. That stuff is clearly in the Bible says it ain't good for you, but it's good 
you know, it's to us because we are maturating in a taste of it right now. Okay, so recognize that this lunchtime, make sure you get some healthy food during this lunchtime. All right. Yes, come on, stop feeding that doubt, start feeding that faith and believe in it and live in it. You are Courtney, almost everyone is pessimistic and negative. Courtney, get away from them, all right? You are subjecting yourself to that because you want to be there. Obviously, you're used to that, that's all you see. If you want things to change in your life, Courtney, move, move, Courtney, right now. And they are bringing down, they will. Negativity is draining. Negativity costs you peace. Negativity can affect your health. That's why you got to move. You got to love yourself more than they say they love you and pick yourself up and move out of that situation you need that amen we all need encouragement as i minister to you i minister to myself because as i mentioned i walked and she's talking about doubt i don't know what doubt is i don't know what that is because i live life and i live it abundantly why because the father said that you deserve to live abundantly but you got to do what i tell you to do Yes, yes, yes. You got to do what I tell you to do. If you don't do what he says, do how can you expect him to bless you? How can you expect him to move you from the situation you're in? And like I said, I got family and friends in Houston right now. And I tell you, that's devastation when you lose everything that you own. But I tell you, life is much more precious than that. Because if you are a faith believer, you know that everything that you lost is going to come back to you trifle if you believe, if you believe. You got to believe more. Yes, you do. Yes, you do. It starts in the mind. It maturates in the heart. And then it goes towards activity. You got to stop talking about it and being about it. If you are a believer, do what you believe to do. It's right. You wish people around you like you. Yes, just get around people. Connect with me because I will make certain that you stay lifted up. The Lord Jesus Christ say, if I stay lifted up, I will draw all men unto you. So if you like what you're hearing, he's drawing you to me right now because I'm going to speak life into you because I know what people are like that tell you, you can't do this and can't do that. They don't know. They don't know. You got to believe in yourself a little bit more. All it takes is a mustard seed to ask God to deliver me from this situation. I don't deserve this Lord. Okay. Okay. And so it ain't going to come when you want it to. He going to be right on time. So you think it should come right then and there. Yes, we all want that because it's a microwave society. It's a microwave world. But when you wait on the Lord, he is always right on time. I promise you that I'm a testimony for that. I know what he will do because he's done it in my life. Just a must see that is all. That is all. That's all you need. Yes. Mm -hmm. So I pray this is just a lunch break push that this message has been has delivered you, has transformed you, has made you think on a different level that has made you appreciate. I woke up this morning. That's a blessing. Somebody didn't get that opportunity. You got it. You hear you listening to me. You're throwing up those beautiful hearts. And I greatly appreciate that. So don't take this opportunity that you're granted right now for granted. Use it for what it's worth. Go out there and stop doubting. Because see, if God doubted it, you wouldn't be here today. God said, I'm going to keep you here and give you the purpose that I store instilled in your life. So that you can transform and you can let people know that I am the I am. Okay? That I am the I am. And so since he is the I am, you got to be that which he represents. We are the church. We don't need to sit up behind four walls to tell us that God is good. We need to go out there and share with the non-believers, the non-faith bearers, those doubters that want to plant those negative seeds in your life. I rebuke that. I rebuke negativity coming in your life. I rebuke all of those people that said that you cannot be this and you cannot be that. You can be anything you set your mind to. Why do I know that to be truth? Why do I know that to be true? Because he says it in his word. And I believe the grass wither and the flowers may fade above. But the word of our God, the word of our God. Ha! Yes, Lord, stands forever. Amen. All righty. Well, I got to get finished with my day. Because that doubt person, when they came out and they told me yes, I said, see, don't doubt my God. <laughs> and yes, don't doubt me. All right. Yes. <laughs> Yes, Lord, I love me some God too. Yes, yes, I do. Thank you all so much for being here. If you find this a blessing to you, don't hesitate to share. Sharing is caring. Just like you were filled with words of encouragement. Somebody else is going through some right now today too. Don't hesitate to share this broadcast. Thank you for your time. Blessings and peace. Catch me later this evening. 
I'm going to try to get on between 3 and 5, but I have committed to being here at 7.30 p.m. Central Standard Time to deliver you some more information, inspiration, and motivation. If you like, again, what you heard, I'm also on Instagram and on Twitter at Nichelle Womack. I would love to learn more about you and what you do outside of this platform. Take care, blessings, and peace unto you. I am praying for Houston. As I mentioned, I got family and friends there, and I'm telling you, every time I look at the news, I got CNN on my car right now. The hardship, I'm like, oh my God, but God, oh my God, but God. When you see these people, the seniors, the kids, people that can't swim, I can't swim. I be on cruise ships all the time and can't swim. <laughs> yes, Lord, but I'm praying, praying for you as well. I'm praying for you, said, uh, Courtney, was that Courtney? I'm praying for you as well. Stay peaceful. Stay looking up. Always look up. Don't look. I tell my kids all the time, never bow your head to anybody but God. So look up. Stay affirmed in the word to know that we serve an awesome God, an awesome God that will take care of us in our hardships. Even though it don't look like it, I'm telling you, he is working behind the scenes for your good and he will never fail you nor will he forsake you i am a witness i'm promising you guys this everything that i come on and share on live stream i've lived it i've done it i've been through it i failed at it i've succeeded at it all those kind of things okay life happens okay life happens and if life isn't happening for you you have not lived yet keep living because life will happen to you. And then you will come back and you will say, wow, that was a teachable experience. That was something that made me wake up. Because sometimes in life, we got to wake up because we're sleeping. Stay woke, okay? <laughs> Get your rest, but stay woke. Stay woke. All righty, you all. Thank you again. Blessings and peace unto you. Until next time. I'm going to commit to 7.30 being here Central Standard Time today because I got a busy day between 3 and 5. I might not make it on, but 7.30 p.m. Central Standard Time, I'll be sharing with you some business information to help you elevate your life and become the CEO of you, the Chief Executive Officer. Stay inspired, stay motivated, and continue to be the blessing, the blessing. God bless you to be a blessing to somebody else. Thank you so much. Talk to you later. Bye-bye. All replay viewers, thank you so much for coming in, hardening it up, and sharing the message. Take care, everyone. Bye-bye.